Gutu. Mhm. Wachane. Wewe unaniweka unaniweka hapa kwa baridi na ngoja. Mm-hmm. Baridi nini na una ukifungua ya kuingia. Eh, alpani shiu mwalimu, ngoja tu. Sawa, try na shida. Acha nikulete vijana. Haya sawa. <laughs> Good, kumbe umeweka video on. Si ndio, mimi naoka chocho mimi. Uko ni yani yani uko nyumbani. <laughs> My friend teaching from home. Yeah. Mimi nakula za pure kweli. Hapo ni wapi? Hapa ni ofisi yangu. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. ndio nimeshindwa nikaa computer la pinje. Hapa. <laughs> <laughs> Wewe bwana nimechelewa class wewe. Acha <laughs> nikulete. Sawa. Haya.
Good morning class. I want us to start our lesson. Uh, I like starting from where I left or from the assignment that I gave. And uh, I'd like to know which I gave, whether is, there's any challenge or a question that gave you some problems, we tackle, we start tackling that question before we continue with our, with our lesson. So may I know, let me give you an option of unmuting yourself so that you can talk to me. Don't abuse the opportunity to to unmute yourself. Only unmute if you want to talk to the teacher so that we can move on. Uh, I can see majority of us are us. Bran Kogi. Are you in class? Bran Kogi? Yes, yes. Good. Uh, Alan Dungu, you are in class? Alan? Yes. Good. Uh, we also have uh, Alan Mokua. <clears throat> Alan Mokua? You are in class? Yes, 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 I'm in class. Good, I can see Salat. Salat, are you in class? Yes. Good. Uh, finally, let me go to someone called uh, uh, Leon Gisheru. Leon Gisheru. Leon Gisheru? Yes. Good. And Linus, why? Linus Mai? Yes. Nasharia David? Yes. Good. Karibuni sana. And uh, the last time we were having a lesson, that was on Monday, I gave you an assignment on, uh, on trigonometry two, number one to number 28. <clears throat> one to number 29, you are supposed to go through the assignment and then uh, report back to me how it has taken you through, whether it was easy for you, whether you were able to manage the questions, 
and also give us some difficult questions. Some difficult questions. So let me give you this chance. You have the option of unmuting yourself so that uh, we can interact in this lesson. Mathematics is about interacting with the teacher. And I believe though the lessons have been there from other subjects, I believe you are able to, to do something. You are able to do something on your own. The assignments number one to number 29 and trigonometry two. And for those who don't have the book, I believe that you acquired one or you asked some photos of the questions from those who have the book because you can't really just stay at home and then you say you don't have the book. It's good. And I want to also tell you that the lessons that we are having here, they are being recorded and then they are put in our Form for YouTube channel. I hope you are able to see that the school, the Form for has a YouTube channel that all the lessons, mathematics, and other subjects are posted there, where you can go and uh, and uh, have the lesson again. <laughs> they are saved in the YouTube in our channel, so it is a good thing, and therefore it calls for your attention so that you make the lesson as interesting as possible. So that even those colleagues of ours who are not in class can benefit from what we are discussing. So let let's start. I'll give you a chance from number one to number twenty-nine. Any challenge? Any challenge? One to number twenty-nine. Number nine. Number nine. Mm -hmm. From Linus, Linus is requesting us to do for him number nine. Another number, or maybe as, as, as others think of other numbers, we can tackle this number nine. But before I do number nine, is there a student who did it and got it right? So that I can give you a chance also to, to take the whole class through number nine, if you are there, and you know you did it and you got it right, I can give you this chance so that you, you take the whole class together with the student who has asked the question, the whole of number nine. We shall really appreciate if you are there and you can take us through number nine. It's a question one of us has asked. We will appreciate just before I do it if this no student I will, I will show Linus how it is done. I'm waiting for, maybe you did it and you got it right. You can manage, you can explain it to us. I'm not seeing any hand. Is there a student who can do number nine? Number nine? Okay, Linus, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Don't don't mute because I want us now to to move together. Number nine says the figure below represents a plot of land A B C D, where B C is equals to C D. So we have a plot of land A. You can just have a sketch. So we have A, B, C, D, where A, B, angle A, B, C, 75 degrees. Angle B, C, D is 120 degrees. Angle A, D, C, is 85 degrees. And we are told that uh, BC is equals to CD, which is 60 meters, 60 meters. 
and then angle BCD is 120 degrees, ABC is 75, and ADC is 85. Now we are told to calculate the distance from B to D through A. Five marks. Calculate the distance from B to D through A. So in short, we need to get B A and uh, A D. And uh, I believe that uh, we all have the question that I can share. For those who don't have the book, I can share something here on, on the screen so that we, 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 we get it right, what, whatever I'm doing here. For the sake of those who don't have the book, I can share with you the question that we are doing. It's number nine. Yes, it's a minute. Let, let me take a photo. I can share the question. Okay. Let me see whether I'm able to share this question so that those who don't have uh, the book can, can access it. Just a minute as I yes, that's the question that we are doing. The one I'm sharing on the screen. That is number nine. I need to rotate it, but we can uh, we can have it the way it is first for now. Let me try whether I can rotate it. Yes, let me go back. Let's see whether I can rotate it so that it can be nice. Uyu mchawi wewe tutakupata tu hivi Continue drawing my screen Tutakupata hivi We'll just give you So that's the question that we are doing I believe those who are sketching you have done that So that we don't give uyu mchawi a chance Aende ya karogi watu wakuwa u Now, Linus, Linus, you are there? Yes, I'm there. Good. Now, in that in that figure, a question that contains five marks, you need to be very careful. So first of all, I'll tell you to draw the line, draw the line BD. Draw the line BD so that now you can have two triangles. You can have triangle BCD and triangle BAD. Linus, I hope you have drawn the triangle. Yes. Uh, BC is equal to CD. So BCD is a socialist triangle where we have the angle at C is 120. Therefore, angle CBD. Itakuwa ngapi Linus? CBD. If C is 120 and BCD is an associated triangle, base angles are equal. So CBD itakuwa ngapi? 30. 30 degrees. And this also is the same as 
C D B, right? Now let's go. Let's go to angle B. Angle B was seventy-five. Now C B D is thirty. What is angle A B D? Forty-five. Forty-five. What about angle A D B? Fifty-five. Good. So you can even draw two triangles separately so that you can see them well. Because you want B A plus A D. You will B D through A. So I have this is 45 degrees and this is 55 degrees. Now, are you able to get angle A? Can you get angle A? Remember this is a quadrilateral and angle sum of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. That means 75 plus 120 plus 85 we get 280, 360 minus your answer, we get, what do you get from your end? Eh? 80. 80 degrees. That means that angle A is 80 degrees. And you can even confirm 45 plus 55 plus 80, will give you an 80 degrees angle sum of a triangle. Now, you can use the sign to get BD. Use the sign rule to get line BD from the triangle BCD. BCD. You can use sign rule. So you can say, 60 meters over sine 30 degrees is equals to BD over sine 120 degrees. Uh -huh. What is your BD if you are through? One zero three point nine two. One zero three point nine. I'm getting yeah, one zero three point nine. Yes, to four significant figures, eh? Minus to Kupamaja. Yes. 103.9. Ah, I can see my limb is following closely. That's fine. Ah, Linus, now we have BD, which is 103.9. Now, it will be due to me. Peer sign rule, Bado. So you're going to say, now we are on triangle ABD. So we are going to say 103.9 over sine 80 is equals to AB over sine 55 degrees. Let's find AB. Malim, you are Maliza? Yes. You are getting 86 points? Oh, oh. 86 point. Uh, let, let's call it 4.2. 86.42. Use the same sign rule to get AD. So you can say 103.9 over sine 80 is equals to AD over sine 45. Mm -hmm. 74.62. 
good 74.6 mine to give me 60 but no harm so let's b d through a then it will be b a plus a d and b a we got 86.82 and then a d we are getting 74.60 so all this is coming to 161. Linus, your answer was 161 point. Have you added? 161.06. 161.06. I'm getting 161.02. Uh, this was set in 1995, but today you'll be given for the answers to be uniform, utapewa number of decimal places, am utapewa number of significant figures for today. So that was the approach of that question. Maybe Linus, you can confirm if the answers are are what we have or something close to what we have. Yes, that's the answer. Good. Part B, which is three marks. The plot is to be fenced using poles that are three meters apart, except at corner A, where the two poles next to the corner pole are each less than three meters from A. Calculate the distance from the pole at corner A to each of the poles next to it. So you're told that the, the plot is to be fenced using poles that are three meters apart. So E distance that will be 120. 60 plus 60 is 120 plus 161. 0 0.06 I'm getting 288 at uh, 281.06 and uh, the plot is defense using three meters apart the poles are three meters apart except at corner a where the two poles next to the corner pole are each less than three meters from A. So three meters all round except at corner A. At corner A, where the two poles next to the corner pole are each less than three meters. So if you let one of the one of the uh, distance be X and they're less than three meters. So that one now will be two 2x. Then you're told to calculate the distances from the. Come so on, I've not got any what you've seen. Okay, kuna uh, at point A kuna kuna pole moja. Alafu hizo pole zina karibia na hiyo pole kwa point A ziko less than three meters. Sawa? They are less than three meters. Either distance mbili. There are two poles. A pole to corner A from this side of D and then a pole to corner A from this side of B. Kuna pole kwa corner A but now two poles from both sides. That's what I've been told. Where the two poles next to the corner pole are each less than three meters from A. So first of all, I calculate the distances from the pole at corner A to each of the poles next to it. Uh, now we are going to get if we if you divide two eighty one by three, you are getting. 
93.69 and remember Mambiwa, that all other distances are each three three meters that means if you minus 90 from this so that we can get distance we are going to have uh, we're going to have 3.69 and then you divide by two. Excuse me, Bja. Hmm? Uh, why are we subtracting 90? That other distance is equal to three meters, three meters, three meters, three meters. So we are going to get a whole number from the distance that we have. Sawa? Mm -hmm. But this, uh, if you divide by three, you're not getting a whole number. We are getting 93.3. That means the 93 part of it, the out in that 93, kuna 333 meters. So if you get the whole number there, you're going to get three. You're going to get 90. Then we have a remainder of three point something there, of which you divide by two because they were two poles. They were two distances. You get one as a one point. Eight. I don't know the learners you are getting it. I'm a, I, 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 I think. Uh, no, I've not gotten anything. Eh? <laughs> I've not gotten anything. Eh? Hey, okay. Let me come up again. Yes? I think we cannot have point something poles. If it is 93.68, eh? if it is 93.68 poles in a quarter, 94 poles, because we can't have. Or so in a fake way, 94 poles. Eh, Malin? Yes. yes. And then from, from, from 94? So from 94, I subtracted uh, the two poles. I got now 92 poles. So I said 281.06 minus in bracket, mm -hmm. like 3 is equal to 2x. Also from 93.69, so we round off to get 94 poles, eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then we have, uh, are they three poles, Sama? Mm, Sama are two poles from corner mm -hmm. X, so I subtracted now 94 minus two. So for the other 92 poles, the distance between them will be three. Mm -hmm. So 281.06 minus two bracket 92 times three is equal to now the distance x plus x, which is equal to two x. So your x is coming to? 2.03. x is coming to zero point? 2.03 meters money and get an answer. 2.03. Uh, 2.03. Those distances will be equal. Yeah. Or they'll be different. They'll be less than three, but different distances. Yes, Modime. Modime. Um, uh, in that, uh, that quest, that number nine B, mm -hmm. uh, I use different technique. Uh, mm -hmm. Where this that the plot uh, is to be fenced using poles that are three meters apart, except at corner. So my understanding in that was that. Along the line BC, they were all along, the poles along fitted. Along the line BC, the poles fitted. That would be 60 divided by 3. That means along BC, we had 20 poles, mm -hmm. and along C, we also had 20 poles that were mm -hmm. between 
each pole, it was three meters. Mm -hmm. But now when you come to the lengths BA and AD, mm -hmm. now that's where it changed. Mm -hmm. So my AB was 86.44 meters. Mm -hmm. What I did was, uh, so I divided that 86.44 by It's 6.4 divided by 3, three mm -hmm. to get 8.8133. Now, there I see that there there were 28 poles that were each, uh, there was 3 meters between them. But since mm -hmm. we have a point sum, it means there was another pole, so there were 29 poles. So that mm -hmm. ninth pole was the mm -hmm. one which was closer to A. So mm -hmm. I took the 28 poles by themselves and multiplied them by 28 times 3 to get 84 meters. Mm -hmm. Now from B last pole that uh, is in accordance with 3 meters apart, that would be 84 meters. But the total distance is mm -hmm. 86.44. Mm -hmm. So I took 86.44 minus 84 and got mm -hmm. my answers. 2.4 meters. Then went good. again to A, went to AD. Mm -hmm. uh, so 74 point my the distance AD is 74.62. Mm -hmm. Now I took 74.62 divided by 3. I got 24.87333. Mm -hmm. Now that I, I got it as that there were a total of 25 posts, but the 24 posts were in accordance with the three meters apart. Mm -hmm. So by doing times three to get the total distance, I got that was giving me 72, 72 meters. Now 72 meters is like from D to the last pole that is in accordance with that three meters apart. Mm -hmm. Then since the total distance is 74.62, I took 74.62 minus 72 where I got 2.62 meters. So my answers were uh, 2.44 meters and 2.62 meters. 2.44 meters for the one that's close to A at the line AB and 2.6 meters uh, closer to A at the line AD. Mm. Yes. And I think I'll buy that idea. Uh, Malim, have you listened to to Madime? Yes, I don't. Uh, the distance is very cool. I don't. I'm not. I don't have the the book. So. Or, or you don't don't have the book. Yeah. Or so you're not seeing the question before. Yes. Okay, you're just seeing it right now the way I've uh, posted it. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you told me you had, you had a soft copy, something like that. Uh, Linus, my yes. Do I need to explain, or you have understood? I've understood, but I have one question. Uh -huh. Now, after you get the two point four four and the two point six two, uh -huh. are we supposed to add the corners or just leave them like that? Uh, you were told the question was the question asked. Is, uh, calculate the distances from the pole at corner A to each of the poles next to it. So to each, there's no need of adding the two. No need of adding the two. According to me, you just need to get from corner A towards B and then from corner A towards D because I've been told to each. Modim, I still have a question. I can see your hand is up. Oh, no, no, I don't. Put your hand down. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Modime. You are, your method is quite good and quite clear. And I believe we have all understood. <clears throat> now, that's the benefit of, of, of uh, interacting with patients together as a class. What you don't know, someone else can explain it very well and in a very, very simple 
simple way. That's good, Madib. Uh, Linus, who can answer Lingine? Apart from number nine. Linus, do you have another question? Apart from number nine? Yes. Okay, which number? Number three. Number three. <laughs> number three. Uh, and number 17. Number three and number 17. Good. Let's start with number three. But before then, I would like to ask if there's someone, apart from Madime and Malin, someone who can take us through number three. It's good to interact as a class, not the teacher doing everything. It's good to interact, also uh, participate and be active in class. Number three says that in the figure below, A, B, and B, C are chords of a circle, center O. A, B is equal to three, and uh, B, C is eight centimeters and OC is five centimeters. Calculate angle A, B, C. Very fast, I want to, to share it there on the screen so that we are able to at least see for those who don't have the question. For those who don't have the question, you can see it. Question number three. Uh, let me see if I can share it so that for the sake of those who don't have the question, they're able to see it. But this one who keeps on writing on my screen, I don't know where you're coming from. Ah. Number three is there. That's what uh, Linus is asking. So we can, in the figure below, A, B, and B, C are chords of a circle, center O. A, B is equal to three centimeters, and B, C is equal to eight centimeters. And then we are told uh, O, C is five centimeters. Calculate angle A, B, C. You can draw a sketch of what is there. You can draw a sketch of what is there so that you are able to I hope you have you have taken the sketch of the question because I've removed it from the sharing. So we have A, B, C, and then we have center O. B, C is eight centimeters. A, B is three centimeters. O, C is five centimeters. Linus, what is the length of A, O? Linus, what is the length of A, O? Shouldn't it be five centimeters? Should be five because A, O, A, and O, C are already right. So it should be five centimeters. And now we are looking for the angle of A, B, C. Angle A, B, C. So we have angle, we triangle A, O, C. Excuse me. An isosceles triangle with five centimeters on each side. Uh, if you draw line AC, you can see your isosceles triangle is there. Then you have been told that uh, AB and BC are called of a circle, center O. AB is three centimeters. BC is eight centimeters and OC is five centimeters. Uh, Linus, can you able to get length AC? 
Can we get length AC? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. How do you get length AC? Because if you can get length AC, then we are able to calculate angle ABC using the cosine rule. Using the cosine rule. Line as a part of AC, Aji. A boot to Dangani to one. Line as sure. Eh? I'm not sure. Okay. Ningum Kupata AC. So can you draw a line from O to B? Draw line OB. Amateur OB. Eh? Uh -huh. If you draw line OB, you're going to have two triangles. AOB and BOC. Cindy? Linus? Yes. Umachora OB? Yes. Do you have triangle AOB and triangle BOC? Yes. Do you have all their lengths? For example, triangle AOB, do you have all the lengths? Tumatunajua AO is five, Cindy? Uh -huh. AB is? Three centimeters. What about OB? OB will be what? Oh, OB is also a radius. Just look at it carefully. No. So will it be five centimeters? OB is five centimeters. So using the cosine rule, we can find angle ABO. We can find angle ABO using the cosine rule. And then again, come to the other triangle. Triangle BOC. BO ni five. OC ni five. BC ni eight. So we can find angle OBC. And remember angle OBC plus angle OBA, they make up angle ABC. I hope you're able to see that. Angle OBA plus angle OBC will give us angle ABC using the cosine rule. But we shall share as a class in case someone has a simpler method apart from what I've explained. Francis Mulwa. Mulwa? Yes. Are you following what we are discussing? Yes, but my connection has a problem. Okay, so, so. so Linus, do you know the cosine rule? Yes. Okay, take us through how you're going to get angle OBA. So, uh, we are going to say 3 squared is equals to 5 squared. Now, five. just a minute, Linus. Okay, I'm going to 3 squared. 3 squared is opposite of which angle? Uh, okay, the length of 3 is opposite of which angle? A or B. A or B, but our angle is what? Because going to, at the end of the day, you're going to find cos O, uko, mwisho. Ukiaza na three, utapatakta cos O, uko, mwisho. So, utatumia yo cos and rule, and after na ukujo, utumia sine rule. But you can just use cos and rule by starting with five squared. So, and now, uh, are we together like this? Which angle? We are looking for angle O, B, A. Oh, oh. Cindy, Yes. So we answer to the five squared. Uh huh. And the layer? Five squared is equal to three squared plus five squared. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
minus how minus 2 times minus 2 times 3 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times cos theta mm -hmm. then you'll get uh, 3 squared is equals to 9 plus 25 minus 2 times 3 times 5 Mm-hmm. 30. Minus 30 cos theta mm -hmm. is equals to 25. Mm-hmm. Then we do 25 is equals to 34 minus 30 cos theta. 20? 25 is equals to 34 minus 30 cos theta. Uh-huh. And then we... We take 30 cos theta to the other side, and then we take 25 to the other side. Mm -hmm. 34 minus 25 is equals to 30 cos theta. Mm -hmm. Then we get uh, 30 cos theta is equals to is equals to 9. Mm -hmm. And then we divide by 30 by 30. Mm -hmm. Then you get cos theta is equals to 0.3, mm -hmm. and then you get uh, cos inverse. Mm -hmm. Where I'm getting a uh, theta is equals to 72.54. 72.54. Yes. Good. Do the same kwa e angle OBC. Check out two again. Angle OBC is angle OBC. <coughs> so uh, we'll do five squared mm -hmm. is equals to eight squared plus five squared mm -hmm. minus two times eight times five. Mm -hmm. Times cos theta. Mm -hmm. So eight squared is equals to sixty-four plus five squared, which is twenty-five mm -hmm. minus two times eight times five, which is eighty. Eighty cos theta mm -hmm. is equals to five squared, which is twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Then we'll take sixty-four plus twenty-five, which is eighty-nine. Mm -hmm. Minus eighty cos theta is equals to twenty five. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, we'll take minus eighty cos theta to the other side and twenty five mm -hmm. to the other side. Where we'll do eighty nine minus twenty five is equals to eighty cos theta. Mm -hmm. Then eighty nine minus twenty five is equals to Sixty-four is equal sixty-four, mm -hmm. which is equals to eighty cos theta. Then divide by eighty. Mm -hmm. So sixty-four divided by eighty equals to zero point eight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we get cos inverse. So theta is equals to That's six point eight seven. Because the universal part is going to be thirty six point eight seven. Thirty six point eight seven, correct. Mm -hmm. Then we we'll add that six point eight seven plus uh, seventy two point five four. Yes. Where we get hundred and nine point four point four one point four one. The book consult your answer book. Your answers part. Yes, that's the answer. And we have understood.
Yes, but I have one question. Mm -hmm. uh, this length AO. AO? Sir, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes for exam, mm -hmm. uh, Unzambiwa labda AOC radius. So how sure we? Sir, I'm not a fanyaji, sir, come out. I'm not a fanyaji, sir. I'm not a fanyaji, sir. I'm not a fanyaji, sir. Iyo center on jio unajua na yo. Oh, so lazima kwa center. Lazima uambiwe center. Mm -hmm. Wasipo kuambia ujue siyo radius. Oh. Okay. Because any line coming from the center to the circumference is a radius. Sindio? No, oh, yes. So so if the word center is not there, kama they are quiet in the, in the name center, then don't assume that it is the, it is the radius, eh? Hmm. So, so, so we're going to say word center, center O. The moment they have said that the O is the center, then we sawa. Can we go to number 17? We had two questions. Number 17, who can volunteer to do for us number 17? Alan Gitonga, can you help us in number 17? Idrus. Idrus. Uh, not responding. Chat, I mean, kona shida kwa iyo, sikuweza. Okay, thank you, kona shida. Na Idrus, anasema aje? Ian Joshua Muridi. Come on, Kodrasani Ian, we study number 17. Ian? Vincent Muli. Yes, okay. Uh -huh. Ian Joshua? Uh, you will come as good joke for you. Okay. Uh, Vincent Muli? Muli Zamdramusho. Muli Vincent? I'm going to George Ndolo. George. You are trying to talk, but maybe network issues. I'm not able to hear you, George. I'm saying I can try the question. Atta? Oh, you, don't, you don't have the question. Uh, my name is Afan. Yeah. Yeah. Take us through. So, Kwanza una chora ni triangle. Nye ikona uh, right angle triangle. Kwanza tu mizu. Kwanza tu tumizu wa ni kwanza George. Even that, even that uh, 75 is equal to 2 plus root 3. And without his intervals and fifteen, the form P plus Q put M, uh, P, Q and M at you draw you draw a triangle that has ninety, seventy-five, and fifteen. Mm -hmm. So uh, that we have been told ten seven five is two two plus root three. So one said root two plus root three, which is opposite to the seven. So the other side is fifteen. So to get fifteen, you know that. Uh, Yeah. Is equal to opposite of uh, root three. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Network dog in Akusumbua, but you are doing it right. Eh? Let me first of all share 
the question that we are doing, maybe some of us might not be having it at their disposal. That's the question that we are doing. Number 17. Lolo is trying to, to tackle it, but Kidogo Network uh, in Msumbua, wherever it is. So we are told that given that tan 75 degrees is equal to 2 plus root 3, find without using tables tan 15 degrees in the form of P plus Q root M, where P, Q, and M are integers. So first of all, it will be the Yes, Jeff. You have raised up your hand. After drawing the triangle, uh -huh. uh, which has 90 degrees, 75 degrees, and 15 degrees. Good. Uh, we, we, are, we know that tan, tan theta is equal to opposite out of hypotenuse, mm -hmm. opposite out of adjacent. So we'll put because we've been told tan 75 degrees is equal to 2 plus uh, root 3. We'll write mm -hmm. it as 2 plus root 3 over 1. Over one so such that the opposite side, which is mm -hmm. adjacent to the 15 degrees, is 2 plus root 3. Mm -hmm. And the other side will be 1. Adjacent to so the in order to find, So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So in order to find uh, tan 15 degrees, you should find uh, it as opposite out of adjacent. That means 1 out of 2 plus root 3. Mm -hmm. And that will lead us to SADS. Now in order to, to solve this SAD, we need to uh, multiply it by its coefficient, which is 2 minus root 3. How do you call the process? Uh, how, how do you call that process? Uh, we rationalize, eh? Yeah, we are rationalizing the sad. Mm -hmm. So, two multiply two uh, minus root three at the numerator and the denominator. And at the denominator, when you solve it, it will be one, and at the numerator, it will be two minus root three. Mm -hmm. Therefore, leading us to the answer that tan 15 is two minus root three. Two minus root three. Yes. Correct. That's how it's supposed to be done. So do we know do we know P, do we know Q, do we know M? Yes. So in this case, what is our P? Uh our P will be two. Uh-huh. Our, our Q? Uh, uh our Q will be negative one, this one. Okay. Negative one, correct. And what's our M? M will be three. Correct. That one is is okay. That one is okay. I hope Linus, you have been you have been assisted in all your three questions. Can you repeat the last one? I've not heard everything. The last one? Yes, just kiki la Okay. Let me repeat with the uh, let me repeat with with a, a sketch of what I've just done here. I was also doing it. As Jeff was trying to do it, I was also doing mine. Linus, you must hard wapi. Okay, I'll just just see see something on the screen. You can see that on the screen? Yes. Although he he the the height I you can vizuri, but you can see it was uh, 2 plus root 3. Sawa? Mm -hmm. So, because of Najua tan is equal to opposite over, 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 over adjacent, right? Yes. From Sokatoa, the Toa part, opposite of adjacent. So, if we say tan 75 is equal to 2 plus root 3, Runa Manisha, it was over 1. 
because tan must have opposite na chini inakuwa na adjacent so wakikuwa hajaweka yote anything on the denominator just put one because one is the same as just leaving it the way it was as a whole number so you put that one there 2 plus root 3 over 1 so in this case tan 75 you can see the angle i have in the triangle i have 75 i have 90 and i also have 15 So that means tan 75 is opposite opposite is 2 plus root 3 and adjacent is 1 So now I am I have I'm been asked to get tan 15 Now 15 iko huko juu So ni kwa kwa 15 opposite itakuwa ni linus 1 opposite will be 1 Na adjacent itakuwa uh Hiyo 2 plus root 3 si ndio Ah Hey, so that's why we say hapo tan 15 is equal to 1 over 2 plus root 3. Now Jeff has told us to kifika hapo at least yacha answer yetu ikuwa hivyo. We will do something called rationalization. We rationalize from the third concept that we learned in form 3. So rationalize means you multiply by the by the 2 minus root 3, 2 minus root 3 juu na chini. Hivyo. So uko juu tutakuwa na 2 minus root 3 uko chini it will be 4 minus 3 uki square 2 plus root 3 times 2 minus root 3 utapata 4 minus 3 which is just 1 so you get 2 minus root 3 over 1 which again you can also ignore 1 and just write 2 minus root 3 na hiyo tume na sumtiri ni tumeambiwa in the form of p plus q root m and we have talked with jeff na to agree kwamba p will be 2 hapo kwa q we don't have any value so we put 1 1 is always there so we put 1 so it will be 2 of 2 ni p 1 ni q and then root 3 3 will be m That's how we go about it liners. Did you have a question? Uh okay be, before we, before I come to you Samuel let me confirm with liners whether he has understood now. Okay. Liners? Yes. You may understand? Yes, I've understood. Good. Ah uh, Samuel? Sa apo kwa Q juu tumeambia in the tumeambia in the form of p plus q root m sasa q itakuwa positive 1 ama negative 1 juu kwa nini tumeambia plus q then hapa tumepata 2 minus root 3 q itakuwa negative 1 oh sawa asante q itakuwa negative 1 ndio ikuja plus baadaye si ndio wa sawa sawa thank you for that correction It seems e class in require uh, liners liners na meuliza maswali thank you so much liners for being active najua hiyo a liners inakaribia sana hiyo a ikukaribu kufika ama kweli 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 na lazima hiyo a tupate liners wewe usi wewe usi usijali hii mwaka itaisha na next year ikuje huku tuanze maneno hiyo a lazima ikoje mapema by february hapo by april a tayari usha confirm ya max Ah, Ondari, I can see your hand is up. I uh, excuse me teacher. Yes. Could you help me do number 5? Question 5. Question 5. Mhm. Mm Linus number 5 ulipata. Tusaidie hata wewe sasa tumekusaidia sana. Hata mimi nimeanguka. <laughs> Okay. Let me ask if this one of us who can help us with number 5 before maybe I I try it. Number 5 It says that a ship P is due south of a lighthouse L. A ship Q is 4.8 kilometers due east of L. The bearing of Q from P is 30 degrees 
P sells directly toward Q. Find the distance of P from L when its bearing from L is 110. Let me first of all share the question that we are discussing. Uh, it has been shared, but it is upside down. Let me rotate so that we can see well the question. Let, let me share the question to the whole class. Number five, that's the question for some of us who don't have the, the KMF. Number five uh, that Undari is asking, a ship is due south of Lighthouse L. So you need to locate L. Ship P is due south of L. So maybe you can have L somewhere. A ship Q. So P is on the south of L, lighthouse. And then Q is 4.8 kilometers due east of L. 4.8 kilometers due east of L. The bearing of Q from P, which P bardo we don't know where, where P is, but we know it is due south. The bear is 30 degrees. P sails directly towards Q. Q uh, P sails directly to Q. Uh -huh. Find the distance of P from L when its bearing from L is 110 when its bearing from L is 110. When its bearing from L will be 110 degrees. So P, Imenda had the, P is going towards Q. Now we have been told to find the distance of P from L when its bearing will be 110 degrees from L. I don't know that you have. Yes, Mokua, your hand is up. I would like to try. You want, you want to try, eh? Yes. As you try, you can go ahead. I want to share a sketch of what I've drawn. As you try, you can go ahead and uh, try, Mokua. Yes, so in this question, what you're going to do? You can raise up your volume. What you're going to do in this question is this. Above all, on this volume, you over your mic. Ikosa. Ikosa. Eh, Ikosa. Uh So in this question, what you're going to do, uh, you're going to plot the points given, which is going to give you a, a right angle. Uh -huh. And then after it has given you a right angle, uh, where L is going to be. Uh, it's going to be a right angle triangle that is mm -hmm. uh, having the angle uh, where, where P is due south of L and Q is due east of L. Mm -hmm. And then after, uh, then you join the, uh, the point of uh, QP forming the right angle triangle to be complete. Yes, 
like that exactly mm-hmm. uh, then you find the angle uh, you find the angle of at q mm-hmm. the angle at q is 60 good that can be seen from the diagram on the screen yes then since you have been told that uh, when the ship has sailed towards q mm-hmm. at, uh, uh, then its bearing is 110 mm-hmm. In this 90 degrees, you're going to take 110 minus 90, which is going to give you 20 from the inside. Mm -hmm. Then after getting 20, you find the angle at P prime. P prime is the second point after it has sailed towards Q, Mm -hmm. which is 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. After that, that you're going to apply the uh, cosine rule. Mm but first, uh, before you apply it, you have to get the the distance mm-hmm. at uh, LP, which I found to be eight point three one three eight. Which you found to be eight point three one three eight. Will to me which rule? Cha nilipata kwanza nini the length of LP. And si, si LP not to move to move to move to move to move to move to over sign LP. 60. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you find the value of x from there. Good. Because how are you done? I go on the layout of the answer. Uh-huh. Okay. Equals to 60. It was like four point two two. Like what yeah? Four point two two one. Four point two two one, eh? Yes. And I think that is the answer that they have. Four point can we confirm which what answer they have? Is it the same? Yes. Okay, I've, 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 I've shown something on the screen that you can confirm that's what you have done. Cindy? Yes. Yeah, I've just extracted LP prime and Q. And then now the work is easier like that. Now, Ondari, have you seen what we have done? Yes, I've got it. You have gotten it, eh? Yes. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much for your question. And thank you, uh, Alan Mokua, for helping us to tackle number five. And I believe even those who are quiet, our Lishino number five, our Shah, Paul Vizuri. And even Linus, you will to be pen number five, he'll a challenge to you. Have you understood now? Yes. Sour, sour. We have four minutes to the end of the lesson. So don't... See, me, what will listen to but uh, those who are doing their work, I know God will bless you with an A. That I can be sure. 
And we also have lessons on view sasa. Fadali, I don't know how many have been watching the lessons on view sasa. They are also helpful. They are also is do we have a student here who has been following le maths lessons on the Usasa app? Ama Akuna. They are also equally helpful because we are revising KCSE 2019. Alan Mokua, you can put your hand down. Or you have another question. Mokua, you can put your hand down. So I want to, it seems we are, we have exhausted the topic, but in case you have another question, I think the lessons will go on from next week, but let us wait and see uh the directive given to us by the school uh, but if they continue from next week on monday we shall still go through a trigonometry too you can see some questions can really give you a headache trigonometry too according to me it's like there are students who have not maybe gone through the whole assignment so they don't have questions to ask but again, I can give you a small assignment on the topic of probability. That's our area, next area. The last week's lesson did not uh, end at exact time because of the network connectivity, but I was doing a question on, uh, on probability when the lesson abruptly uh, ended. But we are going to start, that's our next area. I was doing number 25. And I had answered Roman 1 and Roman 2. So I was going to Rom, Roman 2 from Roman 2 and Roman 3 when the network connectivity uh, came on. But can we handle topic of probability, the first 10 questions? It will be a good idea for us. Probability. Let's revisit this topic of probability, number one to 10, as our assignment. But we shall start from trigonometry two. So in case Bado Upanaswali kwa trigonometry two, please just talk to us so that we are able to assist you. Realize you are, and as a class, I know you are going far. Unasaidiana, sana sana. So mta sinyamazi. You just say, and then we see how we can assist you. For now, unless you have someone who has something to say, I'll give you a chance, maybe in the next 30 seconds. If you have something to say, you can talk to us. Ashok, Kamal. Ashok? Yes. Hey, umenya maza kwa nini Ashok? Hata uongei, swali uliizi, ama uko sawa? I mean, uh, yeah. Are you doing the assignment at home there? Yeah. So, and you are uh, following the lessons keenly? Yes. So, so. Okay. Allow me now to end the lesson. You have yourself a nice weekend. Remember to get focused throughout. Get focused throughout. Mr. Gaddafi is also having chemistry on you, Sasa. Please. You just pay some small amount of money and then you're able to view the lessons. They are very good and they are very, very extensive and they will help you if you feel they can add value to your grade. Thank you so much. We are now to Savia Gitaiga. Savia? Savia? Okay, Savia is not. Savia, you are saying something? Nathan Wambugu? No, no, I'm, I'm okay. You are okay? Yeah. Sawa, sawa. All the best class, and I wish you the very best.